Indonesia. This country's humid climate produces lush foliage that's a perfect hunting ground for an assortment of slithering, stealthy animals. Snakes. In Indonesia, the diversity of animals is extremely high, and that means for these snakes that there's lots of potential prey items for them. On a stone walkway, one of these killer serpents, a striped keelback, has managed to ambush a bat. Now, with its body coiled tightly around its prey, the snake is not letting go. This bat seems done for. But while the snake is distracted with the bat, another contender has entered the ring. Looking closely, these ants aren't just scattering, they're attacking. It's an army of carnivorous killers, weaver ants, and they're putting both the snake and the bat in danger. Weaver ants, like many ants, are colonial, so they hunt together in a big group. And these guys have a really nasty bite, and they'll actually exacerbate the effects of the bite by spraying formic acid on it afterwards. The killer serpent refuses to let go of its hard-earned meal, but it's in pain from the hundreds of stinging bites. The serpent attempts to move the bat away from danger, but its prey is too cumbersome. The snake has only two choices, release the bat and lose its dinner, or stay and finish the job, possibly becoming prey for a miniature army of deadly insects. As a group, they can be really effective at taking down even pretty large prey items because of the way they're willing to sacrifice themselves for the colony. They're pretty formidable predators. With the ant army growing, the pain worsening, and the bats still fighting, this meal isn't worth it. The snake bolts, escaping to the brush and safety. And as it leaves, amazingly, the bat is still alive. In this three-way showdown, strength in numbers is the clear winner. <laughs> <laughs>